every 10, 20 hours a week that you spend not knowing what you're doing but trying to figure it out is a wasted 20 hours. You know, you could be going 20 hours this way when you should be going this way. You know, so for every 20 hours you're heading down south, that's another 20 hours back that you've got to head back if you're supposed to be going north, you know. But you've got to get to a point where you've got to start using common sense. You know if something's not working. I went to the gym this morning, you know, that thing where you go work out? <laughs> I woke up at five o'clock in my, and I had a debate with myself for like 15 minutes going, should I go? No, I'll just go back to sleep. Should I go? And then I started thinking about 10 tasks and I'm like, I'm going. Like, <laughs> there's no way I'm getting back to sleep. We should do the water challenge. Or I'll show you how fast I can scull a bottle. I used to be able to scull. I used to be able to scull a bottle of beer in six seconds. I was the fastest sculler. And then it felt like overnight it stopped. Like I couldn't do it anymore. I was like, what happened? It used to be my party trick. Everyone, watch me. I was like that. You know, things you do when you're young. So just so I'm clear, just to help fast track that is you're looking to maybe put um, coaching other people on hold and building that side. Because this is what I was, remember when we were talking when we were in Sydney and we worked, we, we worked out the numbers and we looked at it and we said, dude, the, the gold mine is sitting over here, but you've got another pick and you're digging over here. And that's the thing, because sometimes the, the bright, shiny, like it can be hard to turn down a $30,000 client because you're like, oh, there's, there's, there's $30,000 of income that we could be generating from that. Like it, it, it is hard to, but that's the thing. You've got to look at how does that fit into your overall journey and, and the overall goals that, that you're really wanting to, to implement. And what I would suggest sitting down is working out those numbers. What would that look like from a, you know, looking at a, a profitability perspective going, if you were to go with this model, you know, what does that look like? How much time, effort, energy, focus needs to go into that, into building each, each area, each location. If you had a personal trainer come to you and they're from Sydney, they're working in a fitness first and they want to be your coaching client, not part of your team because they want their own business and they invest 25 grand with you, you coach them and then all of a sudden they come to your actual gym and they build their business inside, you know, so it's, it's the potentially robbing Peter to pay Paul scenario with all of this opportunity don't lose sight of what's currently happening as well okay you know like and, and i'll keep bringing you back to that spot because i think it's so important like you you can get so pumped up with building and building and scaling and you're forgetting about what's happening at ground zero so what we need to do is in that case is we need to get because you, you, you're at a point man where you're wearing so many hats like way, way too many hats. And I say that because I, I, I know that feeling very, very well where you feel like, okay, I've got to write the blog post, I've got to do it, I've got to put it up, I've got to like, and, and also run the business, manage your team, all of those things. It's, um, like I said, you, you need to start taking some of those hats off and, and frisbeeing them onto someone else's head. Because I'll tell you what, if you jump down this cauldron that we're about to go down, we need to get things in place now so it doesn't just become a nightmare or when you you know bring more things on because when you're bringing more things onto your plate you're saying no to other things you know i think the dilemma becomes when you're an entrepreneur and you've got so many different things so many different options and you're actually a go-getter you're out there going and making things happen opportunities seem like they come to you a lot easier and the bigger you build your business the more success you have the bigger the actual opportunity normally is and, I'll, and I'll, I'll say a little story around it so let's say um, you just found out that there's a gold mine on the left hand side of the fence right so you're over there you're digging and when you're over there you're digging for your gold that someone comes over pops their head over the fence and says hey look we've got another gold mine over here on the right side what happens there at that moment is an entrepreneur you make a decision of whether or not you're going to continually dig gold here because it's still producing, or you're gonna take another risk, which a lot of entrepreneurs do like risk, even though they say they don't. Risk is that driving force, that thing of something new. Um, the potential is, are you gonna keep digging here, or are you gonna jump over the other side of the fence and start digging a hole as well? You know, and, and 
if you start going, oh, I'll do both, you know, I'll spend an hour here, hour there, hour here, hour there, you just look at the depth of where you're digging. You know, you could, you could dig 10 meters deep here or two holes at five meters deep. But what you might find is the gold, is the real gold isn't until seven meters. You know, so every time you're saying yes to this, you're saying no to another thing. Um, and I find it's the, it's the blinker effect with entrepreneurs deciding whether or not they should go and do something you know, new or take a different path. You know, I'm, I'm definitely open and I'm a big advocate on if you feel that this new path that's presented is a better path, take it. You know, don't just say, oh, I've dedicated, you know, six years of my life to this. I made a commitment. I'm going down this path because, you know, it's, it's not always about that. It was like when I was an apprentice cabinet maker, you know, I got kicked out of high school and became an apprentice cabinet maker. And the only reason I stayed at that job was for this on oh, no, it's a four year commitment. You know, I've, I've committed to it, so I'll see it through. Um, in this day and age with business, with technology, with the exponential growth curve and everything that we're doing, it's just, you can get left behind but on the same foot. If you keep jumping from one thing to another, to another, to another, you're not gonna get much done. And that's the biggest trap that I see with, with people who are very smart. Because I could say, look, you're gonna make all of those options work, but which one do you really want to, to work? You know, which one do you really wanna grow? And how does that fit into this ultimate end outcome? So in 20 years, how do you see your life? And where does it all fit in? Sometimes you just gotta, Jump off the cliff, you know, and the old saying goes, build your wings on the way down. Don't wait for all the ducks to align up. Well, you, the easy answer is you don't know. That's it, you don't know. You've just got to go, am I willing to keep putting in this effort and you'll get to a point where I'm not getting the results. And then my advice is you need to seek help. You know, like if you're just built, trying to build a fan page and it hasn't worked for the last 12 months, you need to pay someone or you need to buy a product. You need to invest in it because all you're doing is investing the most valuable resource, your time, you're wasting it. You know, you're just wasting time. Like I said to some people yesterday, is every 10, 20 hours a week that you spend not knowing what you're doing, but trying to figure it out is a wasted 20 hours. You know, you could be going 20 hours this way when you should be going this way. You know, so for every 20 hours you're heading down south, that's another 20 hours back that you've got to head back if you're supposed to be going north, you know. You've got to get to a point where you've got to start using common sense. Yeah. You know if something's not working. In the coaching world, and it was interesting because when I was a personal trainer at Fitness First, you know, I was working in a gym by myself, getting clients, I'd be fully booked. Other trainers in the gym were like, oh, how'd you do that? So I was like, oh, I'll coach you and I'll show you. Someone in my same gym, I seen the ability to, you know, charge a couple hundred bucks for a coaching session, which to me was like, yeah, that's awesome. You know, I'm getting paid for my knowledge. But in effect, what I was doing was I was teaching this person to go and get people on the gym floor that I potentially could have gotten. Um, so there's that level of, the abundance mindset versus the scarcity mindset as well and just making sure you're not shooting yourself in the foot. So I heard Cheryl Sandberg the other day talk about, she was on an interview, she's the COO of um, Facebook and she was sharing a story about Google when she grew the team from four people to 4,000. She said one of the biggest obstacles she ran into was when it was someone's birthday and they used to celebrate each person's birthday um, and as the team grew, as the team grew, it got harder and harder to celebrate everyone's birthday, as you could imagine. Um, so I look forward to having that problem, but right now it's Chris's birthday and I'm gonna go see what we can whip up at the cafe. If they don't have a candle, we're gonna have to do something inventive. I know he likes a bacon egg roll. We could put a candle in a bacon egg roll. Okay, can I grab one of those, please? Made for the occasion, isn't it? Made for the occasion. I'm a little bit concerned about his weight. I don't know if I'm going to give it to him. I'm kidding. He's eating those bacon egg rolls in the morning. Oh, maybe I'm too soon. Oh, it's already dropping wax. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Chris. Happy birthday to you, hip hip. Hey. Hip hip. Hey. Hip hip. Hey. Hip, hip. Hey. Woo. 
go, my friend. Surprise. Make your magic wish. Be nice to me. It's not gonna come true now. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I was gonna get a bacon and egg burger, but I didn't have, to, didn't have time to sit down and wait. Really? The only healthy thing on there? Yeah, I'm, I'm down with that. I'll take some of that chocolate too. 21? 33. Oh, you look like you're 43. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I'm being nice. that treaty nice thing to do. Yeah. <laughs> See, it's coming true. It's coming true. Nah. 33. Nice. The great thing here is you'll see 50% opens. That's a very high open rate. Generally, as the email size list grows, the open rates decline. But to show that at least half of 50% of people um, open that particular email, and that was at time of taking the screen capture as well, um, is, is very great. If, if we could keep that ad cost, I mean, that would be amazing um, from a lead gen perspective. Because that's the, the beauty of this as well, and what we're doing, and I said from the very start and why this is important, is it's not just about putting money on something so it can be seen, it's like how else are we actually collecting off our ad spend? All right, on my way out again. Everyone's left me here. Had a few things that I need to wrap up, been a great day, got a lot done. The CMG website's uh, on its way. Looking forward to that, um, being able to give people the opportunity to express interest and apply. Uh, to have us do probably the most important job in your business really which is lead generation lead generation um, helping you build your brand build your business really looking forward to that can't wait i'm heading home i'm gonna have an early night i need to catch up on some z's early morning today at the gym which was great um, which reminds me my gym towel is still in my bag damn it Thank you so much for tuning in to today's vlog. If you've gotten anything from today's episode, any lessons, anything that popped up for you, please be sure to let us know. Leave a comment below and also please be sure to like and subscribe so you do not miss out on any future episodes. Thanks for coming. P.S. Only cool people like and subscribe. So. What are you waiting for? Like and subscribe, come on.